Welcome back to the Trick Shift Garage YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the ignition coils on a 2007 Nissan Altima. It's going to work from a 2007 all the way to 2012. Let's get started. Alright, so me and Bob have been looking through our YouTube analytics and we've noticed you guys have been watching but not subscribing. So can you please do us a huge favor, huge, huge favor, and just hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out. It helps us try to you know bring more content for you guys so hit that subscribe <laughs> that was good <laughs> so hit that subscribe button thank you all right so first you want to go ahead and uh screw your negative terminal loosen these torques up mm. stop the back about the executives yeah, I already took some uh, pictures of the big old things. Alright, engine cover off. Next step, we're going to go ahead and remove the coils. You want to also make sure you disconnect all these before you try to pull it out. So at this point, I've had an oil leak that has been going into uh, my spark plug holes for a while now. I actually replaced the valve cover. You can see that video at the top. If you're having oil leaking into your spark plug holes, the valve cover is bad and you need to replace it. We actually have a video that will show you how to remove the oil from the spark plug holes. And you can see that by clicking the card at the top. So we got our new um, ignition coil um, ready to install. It looks good, no damage, anything. Um, if you'd like, you don't have to, but it's, if you would like to, you can put a little dab of dielectric grease in here just to help with the uh, electrical connection. But we're going to go ahead and install. And just kind of push it in there. Like so. Number two. Alright, last one. And make sure you have these uh, electrical connections kind of like pushed back out of the way because you don't want to like sandwich it in there and get it stuck underneath the coil. Alright, so once we got all of them kind of in, we're going to plug them in first before we tighten them. That just gives us a little bit more wiggle room. Because once you have them tightened down, they're really hard to maneuver past. Okay, so these um, these bolts for the ignition coils, they get tightened down to 62 inch pounds. Last step is going to be putting on your negative terminal. I remember the old cars they used to have like little tiny eight millimeter, six millimeter like little nuts for the terminals. All right, kids, last but not least, a seal of approval. Job well done. Everything looks good, but that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. If you like our work, please do hit that subscribe button.